Hello again, it's John, and today I am going to be reviewing some items for you from McDonald's. But this is a special one because once again, the McDonald's on West Randolph in Chicago, which is the global headquarters for McDonald's, has once again updated their global menu options. And I have three sandwiches, a side, and a dessert that I'm going to be trying for you and letting you know where it comes from, what I think about it, etc. We're going to start out with, from Sweden, the sandwich that they call the Big Tasty. You may remember back in the day that there used to be a sandwich in the United States called the Big and Tasty, or it might have been Big and Apostrophe Tasty. So this one's just called the Big Tasty. Um, it is a fairly large burger, and it has the Big Tasty sauce, which I'm not sure exactly what's in there. Onions, sliver onions, tomatoes, three slices, shredded lettuce, Swiss cheese, the Big Tasty beef patty, and the Big Tasty bun. Now, when you go on the Sweden website, um, they call it the Mick Selection Big Tasty Premium Beef. And according to this, on that, on that website, uh, you start with the Premium Beef Meat, Emmentelar, which is a type of cheese. Um, here it's giving us Swiss cheese. Uh, Emmentelar is a type of Swiss cheese, so... I think they're they're kind of like cheapening it, making it not the exact thing that's in Sweden, but uh, an American version. Um, mild red onion, tomato, and wonderfully tasty, tasty sauce. This is probably uh, uh, Swedish words that were translated to English, so it's probably a little bit different. Everything gathered in a tasty and juicy bread. Um, the bread I'm looking at looks more like a brioche bun. Uh, so it looks like there has like a red onion, whole lettuce. Um, it looks like there's like two different types of sauce on here. And this just has the, the big and tasty sauce, which looks like a Thousand Island or mayo-ish. Let's go ahead and taste it. It is big. Let's see if it's tasty. I would say it's tasty, making this sandwich both big and tasty. The, the tasty sauce, it looks mayo-based, uh, but it has a, a slight horseradishiness to it. Slightly mustardy, slightly horseradishy. I would say it tastes pretty good. There's nothing really overly different or strange about it. Um, it just tastes like a big burger um, with a slightly horseradishy uh, mayo based sauce I'm going to give it a thumbs up just one uh, because it's good but it's not demonstrably better than any other large uh, premium sandwich we're going to go ahead and move 
to the next one. And the next one we have is similarly named, but instead of the Big Tasty, it's called the Chicken Tasty with Bacon. And this one is from Switzerland. According uh, to the global menu, it comes with the same Big Tasty sauce, onions, tomatoes, shredded lettuce, Swiss cheese, but often has three strips of bacon, the chicken tasty patty, and the big tasty bun. So it is basically a chicken version of the, of the burger sandwich, and but it adds bacon as well. I went to the Switzerland website for McDonald's and I could not find a chicken tasty, although they do have a McCrispy bacon. Um, on their website, which says it has mayo sauce, um, grilled Hal burner bacon, tender crispy breaded chicken, and brioche. And it looks like it's a sesame and poppy seed bun, whereas what I have here in front of me is just uh, sesame. And I'm not sure what makes this a big tasty chicken patty maybe it's just bigger uh, let's go ahead and try it out they just changed the beef to chicken added bacon and said it was from a different country but let's taste it and see how it is This chicken patty is definitely just like a reformed chicken nugget type patty. Even though on the Switzerland website, all the big chicken sandwiches look like a whole chicken breast, this does not look like that. Okay. That one is okay. I think the burger, the beef burger one tastes a lot better. Um, it is uh, big and I guess a little bit tasty. It is not the best tasting, uh, especially chicken sandwich wise that I've had, but it's okay. I'm going to give it a Meh, mid, uh, no thumb up or down situation. I don't dislike it, but it's just, it's not really good. It's okay. We have one more sandwich to go. This one has an interesting name. It's called the Ebi, maybe Ebi? Ebi, Filet Dash O. So, Ebi Filet and it's basically a shrimp burger. Uh, if you imagine a shrimp instead of fish filet sandwich, that's kind of what we're going with here. According to the McDonald's app, it says it comes with mustard, Thousand Island, shredded lettuce, the shrimp patty, and a sesame seed bun. Um, the website for Japan doesn't really say exactly what comes with it, it just says caution, contents could be hot. And it looks like it has a bun, lettuce, a thousand island sauce, a patty, and some mustard on it. When I look at this, I see lettuce, I see thousand island, there's like the slightest dots of mustard on the bottom. Let's go ahead and try it. This is the Ebi Filet-O, or the Shrimp Filet. That 
That has an interesting flavor. And it's not really patty. It is this Thousand Island dressing, which in my mind I was thinking it's just going to be Big Mac sauce, but it tastes much more like Thousand Island than Big Mac sauce. The patty itself is interesting. Mm. Yeah. Little indentation chasm there. Because there's actually like whole pieces of shrimp. So, when I took that bite, it pulled out the shrimp, and that's why there's like a little cavity right there. I'm not getting a lot of shrimpy flavor. It doesn't taste like I'm eating fried shrimp. I'm gonna get just like a little chunk out of here and you can see. It's like a it's not like whole shrimp, but there's like chunks of shrimp. It smells shrimpy. There's a little bit of a shrimpy flavor to that. But even by itself, the the breading has more flavor that it's giving to it than the shrimp itself. I would say this is uh, non-offensive. Patty is a little moist, wet um, on the interior. I wish it would be more crunchy, crispy, like a fried shrimp. Uh, but there tends to be like other ingredients mixed in there with the shrimp, so kind of like as a binder, and it kind of gets like a a wet, gloopy texture to it uh, in the middle. It's not my favorite, um, but I could see someone liking this, especially if they're on like a seafood type diet. But uh, it's, it's not for me, I'll say that. All right, moving on to the next thing is from Malaysia, I believe. Yes, these are from Malaysia. And this is the side dish that I have today. And these are just called Chris Cut Chips. And if you look at that, they look like a little waffle kind of fries that are right thin. They're Chris Cut. Very crunchy. Good salt potato mix of flavor there. I like the thickness to them. I think this would actually be really good with like a, a French onion dip. Which I might have in the refrigerator. So I'm kind of gonna save these and not eat too many here. Because I think I already have my opinion on them. They're good. They're they're salty. They're crispy and crunchy. Um, I don't know what like the shelf life on these will be, but I drove home about ten minutes with these, and they still seem good now. Uh, I think if you order them fresh, they might be a little hot, uh, hotter than I have here. But even though they're not freshly hot, they still taste good. They still have a good crunch. Um, and a good salty potato ness to it. Very reminiscent of the flavor of McDonald's french fries, but this in this case it is in chip 
or I have one more thing and we're doing this last because it's kind of a dessert type thing and this comes from Korea and this is uh, sitting on a cool pack behind me because this is ice cream and this is the salted caramel dipped cone and even though I have it over there by some cooler it is dripping uh, which I had it also in a cup let's go try and try this the ice cream machine was working at the global headquarters we're going to try this salted caramel dip cone and now I have ice cream running down myself I should have figured that would happen at some point. Even over the cup, it still did that. So if you ever had a dip cone, you'll be familiar with. Um, they, they, they call it magic shell, which is they they take this tempered chocolate, they heat it up so it's liquid. They take a, a fresh, cold ice cream cone. They quickly dunk it in and pull it out. The coldness of the ice cream brings the uh, shell back to a solid temperature and there you go you have a dip cone and this one is salted caramel and guess what it tastes like salted caramel I'll check for later. All right. That's it for the new round of McDonald's Global Menu. Um, they still have on the Global Menu. Um, what they call McPops or McDonald's Donuts. Um, they tend not to change much when the when they get the new menu items. I think the one they had this time was just called Cinnamon Cream. Um, they just added that to like the vanilla filled or the chocolate filled. Um, and then of course their McCafe stuff with the coffees. They always say, well these are from the UK. And as if McDonald's in the United States does also doesn't sell coffee. Uh, anyway, that's it for this uh, this round. Um, I haven't checked to see if they have any interesting breakfast items. Um, I'll I'll make sure to check that in the morning because the only way to see that menu really is to be there in the morning or to check the the app in the morning when they're selling breakfast items. The last time around. I think the breakfast item was just a, a ham uh, McMuffin, which I was like, well, isn't the regular McMuffin Canadian bacon kind of, that is ham? So that's why I didn't try it. just seemed like they were renaming something that already existed uh, and saying it was from a different country. Kind of like how they do with coffee all the time. But anyway, I think the big winner here really is the salted caramel ice cream. That salted caramel dip was really salty and caramely, just like if, uh, what the name suggested. And the second one is probably the Chris Cot chips. It's simple. It's 
salty, crispy potatoes. But that's what it tastes like. It's good. The best sandwich I'm going to say is the big, tasty beef sandwich, followed by the chicken, and lastly, the shrimp one. Shrimp one, I just thought the middle was too, like, wet and gloopy. Didn't taste enough like shrimp. Um, it does smell like uh, fried shrimp when you put it up to your nose, but it just doesn't have a taste of fried shrimp, um, and the texture didn't like it either. Anyway, that's it for this the Lobo McDonald's review. Hope you enjoyed it. And whenever it changes, I'll again go ahead and taste all those items there and tell you what I think. What other countries should McDonald's uh, bring their menu items to here at the global headquarters? Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head specifically. But like I like the idea of things like the shrimp patty. I want to try things that are not just a burger or a chicken patty. Um, I want that patty, that middle part, to be different. Um, even though I didn't like it, I do enjoy getting the experience of trying it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.